Nugget, hey, nobody wants to see your plumbers crack, okay? I'm just telling you, nobody wants to see it. All right, time to make Nugget's gourmet breakfast. We got something new for him today, though. Y'all know we got been getting him? Cherry tomatoes. And... Grapes. But today, blueberries. I had cranberries, fresh cranberries in my hand, but they're kind of like small apples, and I was kind of afraid that they may get stuck. I don't know, they just... Kind of worried me a little bit on the cranberries. I'll try to do some research on that. Y'all, he loves this medley. Since we started giving him the fruits and vegetables. He still got, he still got access to his regular feed. So he can, if he wants some of that, he can have that. But look how good that looks. Oh, I'd eat that. All right, let's go feed Nugget. Hey, Miss Pears. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful peaches and beautiful Mildred. What's up, Capri? Tip, Boo. And my main man, Nugget. Nugget, I got you some blueberries, buddy. Yeah, come on, get you some of this. Come on, get you some of your medley. Oh, he loves it so much. Here we go. I think the tomatoes are his favorite with some blueberries. You're gonna be it's shocking because he eats it so fast. Of course, that um, you don't think he's eating that much and then you look in the cup and it's empty. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Can you get the rest of them or do I need to put in your bowl? And he drops a lot, too. Here, see that scraping? That's his beak. His beak is not flat. It, it is serrated. Look at that. It's almost all gone. Here's put him in your bowl. There you go. Loves him. Look at him. Loves him. So, you know, you would think that over there in the beautiful country of Australia, that that's probably what they eat a lot of berries and fruits. And uh, Miracle actually said that she read that they even eat amphibians, but I just can't see Nugget and small reptiles. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess he was out in the wild and was uh, limited that uh, he would eat a lizard, but I can't see it. Yeah. All right, let's get the uh, let's get the pools filled up, buddy. Yeah. Let's get the pools filled up. I can hear water running. Don't tell me this. Don't tell me this. Dag gum it. Dag gum it. Uh. Hey. I think Nugget's water's leaking. Oh, no. I know it. Tell me about it. Alright, so we got an issue over here in Nugget's pen. Um, oh, really outside Nugget's pen. I just came over here to fill up the swimming pools and I can hear water running through the uh, actually no freeze faucet. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not but it's definitely something going on there and then I noticed all this water. I mean, this is soaking wet. Look at this. So this isn't good. Uh, I don't know if it's the cause of, I really didn't get that big of a frost. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's any type of freezing issue. I don't know if it's just the wiggling of it. Hear that? That's what I think. I may have made it worse. I did make it worse. Oh goodness. All right, I need to go cut it off ASAP. It is coming up. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's not good, Nugget. That's not good. That kind of reminds me of the Beverly Hillbillies when they hit when they hit oil. And they go cut the water off. Other little thing I'm worried about is is I don't know how long it's been leaking. Um, 
I don't know. Alright, now we got it off. Let's go see what the damage looks like. What kind of frustrates me is, is man, I did this plumbing by the book. I mean, I watched videos and everything on how to do these no freeze faucets, and it uh, it's just frustrating. Uh, another frustrating thing is I got to contend with him. He's gonna be just like that throughout this whole thing. I gotta try to dig. I gotta try not to hurt him. Uh, I got a shovel. I'm gonna have to have all kinds of other stuff. I got gonna have to probably have to have some glue and. He's gonna be that right there the entire time I work on this thing. So that's gonna be just a tad bit aggravating, trying not to hurt him. And on top of that, if you guys been following us for a while, there's one thing that I actually cannot stand and don't like doing, and, and I'm not very good at it, and that's plumbing. All right, let's see what we got here. Nugget likes to eat scratch. And so I'm gonna give him some scratch and maybe that will keep him occupied somewhat while I try to get this hole dug. Because I gotta use force on the shovel. Last thing I wanna do is he get hurt some kind of way because of his curiosity. He's just so curious. Maybe this will keep him occupied for a little bit anyways. Check that out. Check that out. Look at his mouth where he's been just digging all in that hole. Look what I just threw out, man. Look behind me. Uh, so I just thought of another option. I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna work. All right, so what I'm thinking is, is we got this milk stand. And if I can put this milk stand right in front of the area that I'm working on. Appreciate it, Redneck. Um, I can block him out of the way. I'm thinking this will work. I don't think, he's not gonna get on it. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so that's working. And um, it's a lot of water in here, y'all. Look at here. As I'm digging this out, I'm thinking about my darn water deal. remembered when I put these things in this has been over a year ago I'm guessing and I put the gravel in because this no drain I mean this no freeze faucet has a like a, a, a one-way valve on it so when you close it off it shuts and all the water drains out of a seat pole at the bottom and so you put gravel down there because you don't want that seat pole to get clogged up Nugget, hey, if nobody wants to see your plumber's crack, okay? I'm just telling you, nobody wants to see it. All right, as long as we got that clear. I'm guessing that, uh, I'm thinking that this movement, movement of it, has cracked the PVC is what I'm thinking. I'm going to have to strap it up better some kind of way. It's my fault. I should have put another strap up here and probably another strap at the bottom, but I thought it was good enough. And it was a lot tighter than this when I originally put it in but now it's been gotten pretty loose and uh, I got a feeling that this wiggling has cracked that PVC I don't think it's got uh, I don't think it's caused a frost I mean our my winters are so mild here our code in Alabama for water pipes is six inches so six inches deep is our frost line so we don't have to worry about that and I'm way deeper than that so I got a feeling it's just over time this thing rocking back and forth at least I hope all right all right just as i expected i don't know if you can see it or not but this fitting that goes into this elbow 
is broken on the bottom side because of movement like that. So just over time of us cutting this water on and off, it wore that fitting out and caused it to break. So I gotta get a new one of these. So I can, it looks like I can just cut it off here and put a new fitting in and we'll be fine. But what I'm thinking is, this is what I'm thinking. Since I'm here and I got it right here, I'm thinking about putting me a cutoff valve right here. Cause right now I got the water cut off to the entire house, property, everything. Everything's cut off because of this one. I'm thinking I can put a cutoff valve here and that way, if it ever happens again, I can cut this one off. And, you know, I got four more, but uh, for today, while I'm here, I think I'm gonna put a cutoff valve here. Should have done that to start with, uh, but hey, it is what it is, but that's exactly where it's coming from, right there, under there. I keep a lot of plumbing stuff in stock. Uh, well, mainly because I always buy extra when I do projects like this because I'm not a plumber. And also because when we are at the other farm, we constantly, you know, had little issues here and there. And I was always kind of repairing things. And so I got me a nice little collection of plumbing parts. I'm hoping I have what I, what I need to fix this here without having to go to the store. Only thing that I'm thinking I may not have is glue, but we'll see. Well, unfortunately, I don't have what I need. I thought I did, but everything I got is half inch. Half inch cutoff valves, half inch fitting. I need three quarter like that. Um, I just don't have it. So I do have to go to the store. Ugh. I'm gonna check one more spot, but I'm pretty sure that's... I ain't got it. And my my glue's dried up on me. That's, that's the thing about glue. Once you open it, um, it's got a shelf life and, and it's no good. So I gotta go to the store anyways. have this little country store that's in our little community and it's really just a gas station but he's got a little bit of everything and he had my fittings believe it or not so thankful that I have to go all the way to town which would have taken me 20 25 minutes so that saved me a lot of time so I can get back on this thing hopefully get it fixed Thank goodness for little country stores. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can fix this thing. Nugget, you ready to go with it? Let's go with it, buddy. Finally got it all put back together. I had a little issue because the fitting broke off inside the brass threaded fitting that goes into the faucet and I had to chisel that out. But other than that, it went pretty smoothly. Uh, I got the wet set glue, which is the blue glue, which usually cures pretty fast and uh, cures with water. So that's why I like using it, especially on situations like this. So I'm gonna wait just, to, uh, I don't know, about an hour, put the pressure to it. Fingers crossed, we have no leaks. Cut it off. I left Moody's water on so it wouldn't be so much air in it. Did you see any leaks? Did you see any leaks? All right, let me double check. Everything seems to be okay. I don't see any leaks. Let's cut it on. Got my cutoff valve in here, so we should be good to go. I just don't see anything. I think we're good. I think we're good, y'all. I think we are a okay. Whoo! 
just cut this water on and it's working. All right, good deal. Let's cut it off. I gotta get this whole field in. Hey buddy, I wanna tell you, I appreciate your help with the plumbing today. Yeah, and who knew you were a plumber? I mean, I had no idea. I had no idea. You probably could have done the house. You probably could have plumbed the house. Yeah. You fixing to go to sleep on me? Huh? I was going to talk, you know, about your plumbing skills, and you're going to sleep on me. You woke up. You about went to sleep. Yeah. You about went to sleep, Nugget. Anyways, as I was saying, I appreciate your plumbing skills. I appreciate you helping me with the plumbing. I mean, heaven forbid I had to call Lester to come do the plumbing. Oh, my gracious. Have you seen his plumbing? You don't want to. You don't want to. But if one of these others starts leaking, and I got a chance that we're going to have another issue. I really do. And so if they do, you know how to fix it. Yeah. You know how to fix it. Maybe I ought to get your own little tools. Your own little plumbing tools. You can start your little side hustle. Builders and not the... Milking stand down. You been putting anything in your hair? It's awful soft today. Been doing anything different? No?